In this video, I'm going to show you the software that's free that you can use in order to print in booklet format. So I have lots of tutorials here where I show you different methods. You could staple, you could use the prong method. That's my favorite. But first things first, how do you print a book that's in that booklet format, double-sided. Now you do need a double-sided printer, that's number one. I do recommend the Epson 2760, that's the one that I have. I think it's pretty affordable. The ink lasts forever. You can print in color, you can print black and white. It just, it normally lasts two years, but for me, I print so much, probably about a year, a little bit more than that but it lasts a long time and they're very affordable to refill. It's like $20 for a black bottle of ink that's supposed to last you two years. So it's very affordable once you get the printer down. The other part of it is of course, how are you going to print it? A lot of people have issues with the printer dialog system. So I'm gonna walk you through here with a free uh, PDF reader that you can download Mac or Windows and how to print in booklet format. So let's get started. All right, so first you wanna to go to foxit.com and here we are slash PDF dash reader, but you could just go to foxit.com and you'll see this. So you want to go ahead and download the Foxit PDF reader. You can download it now. Like I said, this is free. Go to the free one. You're going to see all these different uh, pro options and free trials. Scroll all the way to the bottom and just get the free download for the Foxit PDF Reader. And you can pick here Max or Linux, Android, Cloud, it's all here. Just go ahead and click free download. Now, once you have that downloaded, you can start printing in booklet format. So first you need something to print. So I'm going to get a book here. I'm going to download Gulliver's Travels. This is a book by John Swift, and this is in the public domain. I have the Robinson curriculum, which when you purchase it, you get a lot for homeschooling your whole family, K through 12, but you also get all these great books that are, again, they have the rights to in the public domain and you can print it out from home. It's cheaper if you have a printer like the Epson 2760. It's cheaper, especially today, to just print it out at home than even the gas to go to a library to try to find it. And these books are even extremely hard to find anyway at the library now. So it's, it's even cheaper than the gas that it would take me to go to the library. So it's downloading now. I'm going to go ahead and download and it's going to open with the Foxit Reader because I have that set as my, my um, default. So I'm going to wait, it takes a few seconds here to download, it's a big book. All right, so here it is, here's my book. What I'm going to do now is hit file, print, and here are the settings that you want to pick. You have your printer, of course, one, all pages. Now here in print handling, you wanna click on booklet and you want the binding left and the subset you can leave all this now some people ask me how can you adjust the margins you can adjust the margins right here and that's it you'll see in this kind of preview here how it's going to print as you can see it's going to print like this in booklet format you can um, mess around with this if you want to but i would just leave it as is i would leave it on auto center here now you will see it's not even you don't have to even mess with these options of print on both sides of paper flip on long edge flip on short edge it's just all done for you just hit booklet it's super simple and then that's it, you just hit print. And then once it's printed, all you have to do is just actually bind it and that's it. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I have a playlist with all kinds of book binding tutorials. I will leave a link down below for the Foxit Reader as well as the curriculum where I purchase those uh, public domain books that you can print at home. I will leave all that information down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.